Welcome back. Today I want to introduce you to a new plugin I developed, which is called Python Script Deck. And this plugin allows you to execute Python scripts via a single key on your Stream Deck. And the benefit is that plugin can also read back values from your Python script so you can update the content of your key based on the results of your script. So let's see how this works, how you can set it up, and I'm curious what use cases you will find for it. So please let me know down in the comments what you've used it for. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get the plugin and therefore we have two options. The first one, we can grab it from the Elgato marketplace and I made a video on how to install plugins from the Elgato marketplace and I will link it up there. So option one is Elgato marketplace and the second option, which is always going to be a bit ahead of the marketplace will be downloading the plugin from my GitHub repository, which is open source and you can have a look at the source code on all the commits and obviously you can also download the plugin directly from there. And I will link the release in the description below. So now that the plugin is installed, we can go and set it up. Now start, let's start setting up our actions with the Python script deck. So we need to find our action in the action sidebar. We can drag it onto the canvas and now we can see that we have a bare Python icon on here, so which is representing a not set up action yet. We have a bunch of fields in here and I want to explain all of those later on. But first, let's have a look at the very first script that we can use. And for that, I've added this into the property inspector right here. So this is the script, which is going to be really simple for you to test if your environment works. And for your environment, you need Python 3.10 installed. So please go on python.org and download the regular Python installer for Python 3.10 or something similar, or go, for example, to the App Store or Microsoft Store to install Python. So I've already prepared um, this script right here. So it's test.py. And once the script is loaded, you will see that you will get a document icon here and a little check mark that the loading worked. And if I want to display the values of my script, I can click on here. And if we go back in here, we can see that I'm printing the return values of my function. So if as soon as I press the key now, I can see that the values from the script are being displayed on the key. Now that we can display the values on our key, let's take it a step further and add icons to it that will appear based on the return value. So in here, the first return value that I get is either true or false. So let's react on the first one, which would be then true. And I can set an icon for that. Let me choose the check mark. And the second return value that I have is false. And here I can now set the false icon. And I don't want to display the return values anymore because they will be represented by the icons that I just chose. So I will just get the title of my Python script so I know which uh, script this is coming from. And if I now hit my key, you can see that the icons update based on the return value. And with this, you can now go ahead and build your own Python scripts to create um, a feedback on Stream Deck that will tell you on the result of your Python script. So have fun doing so and let me know down in the comments what you are doing with your Python scripts and Stream Deck. So I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that subscribe and like button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And also, if you have a feature request for any of the plugins I make, put them down in the comments and I'll see what I can do. See you in the next one.